In this video, we'll find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for each isotope of tin. Tin's kind of special. It has the most stable isotopes of all of the elements. So if we had a block of tin, we'd have these different isotopes in that block. And the only thing that those isotopes, the atoms of each isotope would have different, that would be the number of neutrons, and therefore this number here, the mass number. In this video, we'll just look at three of the most common isotopes of tin. So these are the three isotopes of tin we're going to look at. The first thing to know is that when we look at an element, its atomic number, that's this number right here, the atomic number, that tells us the number of protons. The atomic number equals the number of protons. So for tin, all the isotopes of tin, the atomic number of 50, so we can just write that in, 50. That's the identity of tin. It'll always be 50. If it's something else, it's not tin. The atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So each isotope is going to have 50 protons as well. Let's skip neutrons because that's going to be different for each isotope and look at electrons. Tin on the periodic table, it doesn't have a negative or a positive sign after it. That means it's neutral. The number of protons and electrons are equal. So in a neutral element, like the ones listed on the periodic table, number of protons equals number of electrons. So we can write in 50 for each one of these. So far, everything is the same. There's no difference between these isotopes. But with isotopes, the difference is in the neutrons. So to find the neutrons, we first can figure out the mass number. That's this number right here. 10116, mass number is 116. 10118, and so on. Now we know that the mass number equals the protons plus the neutrons. We know the mass number, we know the protons, we can figure out the neutrons. So 50 plus some number gives us 116. 50 plus 66, that would give us 116. Here, 50 plus 68, that's 118, and then 70 here for 10, 120. So we figured out the neutrons based on the mass number. Usually when you're given one of these charts, you'll be given the number of neutrons or the mass number so you can figure everything else out. If not, you can look at the average atomic mass. This is the average atomic mass here. This is an average of all the different isotopes that we saw in that table at the beginning based on how much of them there are. So if you're not given the mass number or neutrons, you're not given the name here telling you the mass number, round this to the nearest whole number and put that in for the mass number. That'll let you figure neutrons out. This is Dr. B with the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for SN10. Thanks for watching.